Howdy folks, and welcome to Billy Jim's Guide to the Ballet. Today, we're going to be talking about Maria Tallchief. Mm. <laughs> Maria Tallchief was born in 1925 in Fairfax, Oklahoma, and she left as soon as she found out where she was. Maria Tallchief got hired by the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo when she was just 17, met her future husband George Balanchine, and when he founded the New York City Ballet in 1946, she became his first star at the tender age of 21. Uh, they later got an annulment, but uh, these kind of things happen. She retired in 1966 and opened the Chicago City Ballet in 1981. And this here is Patty Eiler. She was 19 when she started working at the Chicago City Ballet under Maria Tallchief in 1981. And she worked there for 10 years in the court of ballet. When I was in Chicago, I got to talk to her a little. This is uh, Maria Tallchief as the Firebird, and a picture of me in Cinderella. This is our poster when we did Cinderella when we were Chicago City Ballet, and um, I believe this was from the first year, 1981. Um, she was very, I don't even want to say demanding because uh, that kind of goes without saying, but she was very adamant about things. Like she would literally come up and say, you're about an eighth of an inch off. Like uh, what I'm saying, like the toe in the front. Like literally, you're about an eighth of an inch off and you'd have to go like, you know, an eighth of an inch. You know, ooh, eighth of an inch. But, um, you know, she would often accuse us of forgetting everything, which, you know, was disheartening. <laughs> oh, one time she said, um, you have no idea how hard it is. And I was sweating bullets and I thought, I think I have an idea about how hard it is because, it's, yeah, this seems like it's pretty hard. Um, but she didn't want us to take the easy way out, like really go the extra mile, really don't just point your foot, but really point your foot. She had a lot of respect in the dance world, obviously, but she was my mentor in a way of, I was a good student. She really taught me what it meant to be a performer. When I first got here, I, I, I came in late to the game because, again, I was replacing somebody that was my height and they had already started rehearsing. And so I was in a scene where four of us are standing around and it's Erudice and she's, it's an opera and she's laying out on the, she's, pat, she's dead, she's there and we're standing around her. And Marie Chalchiv came up to the stage to yell at me for standing there, how I was standing. So, you know, it's embarrassing for one thing because like, I was just standing there. But the thing is, what was funny to me is that when I went back, we stayed at a place called the Three Arts Club. So a lot of us dancers stayed there. And I was telling them, like, I was just, you know, complaining about, oh, I can't believe I get yelled at for standing. And then I imitated her and I said, she wants me to stand like this. And the second I did it, I thought, oh, well, of course, because that's what it's for. Who wants to come to the ballet or the opera and see this, right? You gotta have some, you gotta have some presence. So um, I, I actually just love that I was making fun of her. I'm sorry, Miss Talchi, but um, I was imitating her and it really, it was like a light bulb went off. So I do sometimes tell my students, go ahead and make fun of me if you want, but you know, or imitate me. I don't mean make fun of me. Please don't make fun of me, but imitate me if you want but um, you know you might you might find something out thank you patty for taking the time to come on the show we really appreciate it uh if y'all are in chicago and you want to take some ballet lessons y'all go down to chicago ballet arts where old patty teaches mm, she's really good so uh that's it for this week we'll see y'all next week bye if you want to show your support for this show buy this here book ballet for guys by will kern just click this here link and order it on up you'll be glad you did trust me